Hi, I'm Paul Neal. I'm an artist based in London. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada, and I'm here at Nottingham Contemporary at Raphael Hefti's uh, exhibition. And uh, Raphael, I've known for about five years now. We're best friends. We've worked together on a lot of different projects, and uh, I'm here today to give you a talk through some of these uh, amazing works that are here at Nottingham Contemporary. So the, the first piece that we have here is uh, from the series Like a Podium. There's three separate works that we see here that are all, all the same size and all made with the same materials. And the individual works are each made with an entire roll of photo paper. So these are essentially the biggest photographs that you could uh, make with, with one roll of photo paper sourced directly from, uh, from the manufacturer, which in this case is Fuji. And what's amazing about these works is the process by which they're made. They're, they're not photographs, they're photograms. They've been created through burning a moss spore called lycopodium. And this material has a very interesting history. It's got two different senses in which it has a historical interest. The first one is in witchcraft and the occult. It was used in various formats and ceremonies because when the powder is exposed to fire, it explodes. So it's a cool thing uh, for uh, witchcraft and magic. And the other uh, use of this material is in early photography as a source of flash. So in order to cut down on the exposure time before uh, the portable lights uh, that are now used in photography uh, or flash, we've got this lycopodium powder which can be kind of thrown up in the air in a cloud and it creates a ball of flame and that lights the exposure. So there's two historical connotations that are coming here together, the occult and a very scientific uh, history of photography. Um, but looking at these, uh, you of course don't see a representational image. They're uh, in one sense abstract, but in another sense are a record of a performance that's happened. These works are made in a very special dark room, which was created in uh, a former industrial building in Zurich, where Raphael managed to seal an entire underground area completely sealed from light and uh, rolled out these uh, giant sheets of photo paper in the darkness and used the lycopodium spores to make the exposures onto the photo paper. And this process could take anywhere from 8 up to 12 or 15 hours. So uh, as well, something that you see in these works, which is very unique, is uh, an incredible time span. Normally, a photograph uh, is exposed for a 30th of a second or a 60th of a second or one 250th of a second, but in these works, you're looking at exposures that are made uh, over a multiple hour period. So it's a very unique time frame that's involved in the photographs, and as well, it records this movement and this, uh, this kind of physical aspect that's in a kind of private performance in a way that's involved in the making of these works. And the works themselves, the material of the works, the photo paper here is just simply cut and it's, and it's displayed very directly. There's no frame. Uh, they're just, the paper itself is just hung and it falls by its own weight. So you get, uh, you get a beautiful sense of the material of the paper and how these qualities of uh, the light come out of it. And if you look closely, you can even see spots along the perimeter of the images where there's fingerprints and uh, bends and damage that's made from the handling of these works in a completely dark space over an 8 or 12 hour period. So you really see also uh, 
a trace of the of the making of these images. So behind the behind the cosmos uh, or the abstract connotations that you get in these images, you also have very interestingly uh, some real uh, kind of marks and stories about how these works are made. Okay, so here we are now uh, outside at Nottingham Contemporary and we are going to give you an example of the material that we were talking about that's used in making Rafi's like a podium prints. <laughs> like a podium uh, moss spore. It's this kind of very fine uh, yellow powder and uh, this is the substance that's burning on the surface of the photographic paper and that's creating the, the image. 